Hello, 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 Facebook, YouTube. Today I want to talk to you one of my favorite, favorite, one of my favorite. I got too many favorite people in the Bible, but one, this one here, this one's kind of stick dear to my heart right here. This one is, you know, I don't hear them preach much, you know, to people, but I, you know, hope, I know, I hope somebody's preaching about them because this, this man is totally legit, you know what I'm saying? His name is Me. Me. Nehemiah. How you doing? Nehemiah. This man is the man. That knee. The knee. Yeah, I, I like the knee part. The knee. The knee. The knee. Humble servant. Me. Me. Nehemiah. Now, Nehemiah is the man. He, well, he, he's one of my fans, you know. He's a servant of God and true sir powerful true servant of God now here's Nehemiah's story I'm gonna give you a rough draft you go read the book of Nehemiah this guy's awesome boy Woo! but I'm gonna give you a rough draft see Nehemiah was serving you know the king he was a servant of the king and he and the king loved this guy I mean this he was crazy the king was crazy about Nehemiah a kind of person a great man of God he was you know, concerning, he was at, I think, you know, Persia. If I could be wrong now. But the thing is, you know, Nehemiah, the, the king, Nehemiah kind of looked down like, you know, something, you know, was down and out. He kind of fell down and out. And the king was like, Nehemiah, what's wrong? What, what's, what's wrong with you? You know, I, I feel concerned about my one of my favorite servants in the whole wide world. You know, that's how the king looked at Nehemiah because he was a great, you know, you know, man of God. And, you know, Nehemiah said, I feel so bad. I feel so terrible because, you know, Jerusalem, not my house that I got up in here, you know, you know, not not my family that's out you know at my house but Jerusalem the city of God the city where my God established did not have any walls there you know I he felt bad he felt concerned about the things of God you know the what was going on about the about God more than himself. He wasn't concerned about himself, but he was concerned about God and the temple is being destroyed and it needs to get rebuilt. So the king was like, what? You, you concerned about your your city, you know, walls? So like, yeah. All right, you know, look, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to give you the material and send men, I mean, send material over there to help, you know, put those, build, build the walls of Jerusalem. And then so, you know, Nehemiah went there, you know, finna started building the, you know, temple, the walls, the walls of the Jerusalem. And, you know, he got, I think he had some help here to little, try to help him build the walls. But he was kind of solo. You know, it's funny how, you know, you find out men of God, you know, want to do the will of God and they end up with a few with them or kind of solo, you know, when you're trying to do the will of God. And, and you know what I tell you about doing the will of God? There will be guaranteed haters coming at you. So these haters, they got them name by name. I forgot their names. I can't kind of pronounce them. Kind of happy that I can't pronounce them because, you know, I don't dig them. But these guys came up to Nehemiah. And Nehemiah, working on building, you know, the wall of Jerusalem, say, Nehemiah, what, what are you doing? What, what, what you doing up there? What, what, what you doing, man? Trying to build the walls of Jerusalem, man. That's crazy, man. You can't build these walls by yourself, man. You can't do this impossible job, you know, of building the walls of, for Jerusalem. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous of trying to do the will of God to be about doing the affairs of God. It's ridiculous. Nehemiah, stop 
building and stop making a fool of yourself. Now, y'all know that Mac Johnson is a fool for Christ. Look, if whatever I have to do, you know what I'm saying, that I have to look like a fool among millions and millions and billions of people concerning the gospel of Jesus Christ, Mac is 100. Because, you know, I am a, because I am a servant of the Most High God. I'm not, not about being served and being worshipped by people and need people's opinion and people's approval to get accomplished the things of God. But I'm about serving the Lord. I'm about the affairs of what God has, whether I have to do the ridiculous things or get arrested, get homeless, get whatever, get kicked out, get persecuted in every which way or direction or whatever. I'm going to be about doing the affairs of the kingdom of God. You know, whether I have to look like the craziest fool in the whole wide world. But that's what Nehemiah was all about, you know, in spite of these people. Now, we, the, the, but we know about the scripture says the joy of the Lord is my strength. And guess where that scripture is located? Hmm. Neat, the neat, neat, neat. Nehemiah, baby. Nehemiah said that. The joy of the Lord in his strength. And that's what I learned, you know, a, 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 trying to complete the word of God according to the will of, uh, and the purpose that God has called me to do concerning my ministry, whether on Facebook, whether on YouTube, that, you know, the joy of the Lord is your strength that will give you the ability and the drive to do, accomplish what needs to be accomplished to fulfill the purpose and will of God. But that's what's important, that to be a concern about the affairs of God and not the com concern about the affairs of myself, of Mac Johnson. Of, uh, Mac, do you have a house? Mac, do you have a girlfriend? Mac, do you have a, 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 a car? Mac, do you have this? Mac, do you, I'm, no, I'm no concern. I have no concerns. As Paul says in Philippians, you know, we consider this self not. We consider this world not. Nothing. But in order to fulfill the purpose of the will of God, we will do whatever to by any means necessary to do, fulfill and accomplish the work of God. And that's what Nehemiah was totally all about. And that's why I love this guy. And God always bring up Nehemiah in my heart. And I just go crazy. I just like, oh, you know, <laughs> in my spirit because of what this guy is, how noble this man of God is, you know. That he did some, I mean, he wasn't concerned about, you know, himself. He was concerned about the affairs of God. And he was willing to look funny, you know, and be laughed at and mocked at by these goons, you know, of building the walls of Jerusalem. And that's what, you know, Fools for Christ is all about, you know, whatever the kingdom of God. You know, I have to be look foolish to men to get accomplished. So be it. You know, because it's all about forever heaven, not this temporal knuckleheads that don't understand who God is, that think they're a God, that they're just trying to be better than everybody in this stupid and foolish contest in this world that, you know, you don't really win a true prize, but, you know, an invitation to a hot place. I mean, come on, y'all. Be about a forever heaven and be about and make your affairs unto heaven. And don't be wrestling with, you know, this flesh and blood nonsense with people trying to compete to be something in the world that is not guaranteed to wake up another day. Mm, it's not guaranteed that you will have another day to wake up on. But by the grace of God, you're living today. But hey, learn how to be a servant, a true servant of God, just like Nehemiah, and you accomplish great things for the glory of God and not the glory of men understand it's raining right now i don't know if you can pay attention to that on facebook but you know hey i mean sprinkling but i know i'm supposed to be recording but hey to god be the glory to him forever and ever jesus name hey, amen i'm a fool for christ and i'm a ride for christ regardless about the affairs of heaven and not paying attention to affairs of the world really peace out
God bless you. Love you.